Hello everybody, welcome back to some more Spire the Dragon 2, something like that, I guess I could say, I don't know. Anyway, welcome back to some more, yeah, Spyro 2, Rip this Rage, hang on one second, I'm... Oh, that's probably messed up, okay, there we go. Knew something was wrong, I tried pressing circle and it wouldn't go, so I'm like, what the hell's going on? Freaking dinky Dutch, what's going on here? Anyway, we took off last time cleaning up the rest of Autumn Plains, thank god. That's over. I'm probably gonna go ahead and get some more gems. I wanna show you guys where the last orb is. It's a little tricky. I had to figure this out on my own, I, if I remember correctly. Um, it, was give, it was kind of a pain in the butt at first, trying to get this going. But, I'm gonna finish off now. As you can see, that last hidden area basically is not very well hidden. This one, this one is pretty decently hidden. You need to go over to this waterfall and fall down through it. As you can see, there's a little pit down in here, a little cave that we can go through. If I'm going the right way, it just doesn't seem like I'm doing a very good job of that. Nope, didn't think so. Oh, wait, actually, yeah. And this should be, well, actually, there's one more orb, technically, but this is the last of the one that actually kind of hidden. So there's that. Ooh, thank God, that was hard, wasn't it? Oh, okay. Back on to the adventure awaits. Oh, I thought it was something down there. Might have been a sparkly thing again. Sparkly! Sparkly! Could have been, I don't know. Um, we're gonna go ahead and head into Mystic Marsh. So! Where are all the bad levels located in Spyro 2? If you think Autumn Plains are irritating and annoying and backtrack happy, you're wrong. Winter Tundra has the longest, the most irritating of all the levels in any Sparrow. Yeah, okay, maybe not. If any Sparrow, but sure as hell's out there. This, I, I understand it's the last level. Or last world, you know, it kind of has to, you know, get, it has to give way for things. And it, it has to be a difficult. <laughs> it just has to. It's gaming law. It, it's logic of gaming, I guess. Uh, thing is, back when I was younger, and I, th I still kind of do it now, I I focus on this thing I used to call it gaming law, like laws of gaming or something. Like you had to follow a specific law of how to make a game. Stupid of me, but you know, I'm stupid anyway. Like how to make a game good, don't make the same crap over and over again, that's one law. That law, I think uh, we need to progress to somebody for that one. No, I'm kidding. It, it's just viable on like... Say, I don't know, replay. God, you monkey. Elephant! Elephant snails. Snail elephants. Wait, no one. They're snaily. They're elephants. Snail elephants! Eh. Right on, snail elephant. No, I'm kidding. If only Turtle Monkey had his own catchphrase, he'd be funny. No! Good boy. <laughs> I would be funny. Either. You know, whether or not I'm funny or not, I still kind of find that I entertain some people, so it's whatever. I don't have to entertain you by being funny. I can entertain you by being informative, and that's what my videos are. They're informative first, and then entertaining, or funny last. It's improv, so obviously it's kind of hard to come up with something on the spot. So I usually come up with something informative. If something stupid happens, something stupid happens. I am taking this route the wrong way. Okay, that's totally stupid. Yeah, I'm going to... Okay, now I'm not really going any wrong way. There's no real set path to where you're supposed to go. And still, I'm not really going the way I probably should be going that I usually go. But hey, change it up, right? Why Why should I do the same thing every time, man? Oh, you fucking... Death perception does not work in this game. Eh. Damn ducks. Man. Alright. I oh, know, these are platypuses. Platypi, I guess you could call it. I don't know. Are they plant? I don't know. They're. Man, these Sparrow enemies. They're an enemy of Sparrow. They're an enemy of mine. That's one more, Tony. One more, huh? Gracious goodness. Let's go find this last little bastard. Is he hit? Okay. Okay. Ooh. It's kind of warm in here now. Okay. 
There was a sparkly dude like you did thing back here somewhere. Oh, hey, how's it going? Hey, how's it going? Uh, okay. That's finished. This is a spring. What the hell are you talking about? Oh, pfft. I say, you... the game glitched. I'm out. <laughs> Quit Spyro 2 forever. But yeah, I've decided that. Okay, I've decided. But still deciding whether or not to not do Spyro. Or... Sonic 3 next. Maybe. Maybe not. Well, then again, it's my channel. I can do what the hell I want. You know, it was just some. It was just an idea I wanted to do. I'm gonna try to finish them in that order directly. And then after that, do like Sonic Advance or something stupid. Whew, running out of breath, just from talking. That's what I'm good for. Running out of breath from talking. All the time. That's what I like to do. I really, I don't know, it keeps me entertained, so. I'm used to talking to myself all the time. The funny thing is, you can come up here by using that, so. No, no biggie. The funny thing is, people still think I talk to myself. Oh, okay, I do. But... <laughs> I mean, I. Oh god, no. Oh god, no. I'm just gonna go. Okay, let's hit this. Get these baskets. Let's get full of baskets. Mm. Baskets full of goodies. Now I hear it's a fun part of the game. No, I say that about every part of this game. It turns out to be the worst part. I don't know what's with that. It's just so long. There he is, you little bastard. Come here. Ah, <laughs> you can't catch me now. I'm Kangaroo Jack. Oh, God, that movie was... Exist. Was it like a sequel to that movie or something like that? I, I don't know. Or am I thinking something completely wrong here? And just... I don't remember. I, I don't remember. I don't like movies in the, in the first place. Oh, come on, I hit him. Oh, I did. Oh. 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 I did hit him. It just was being a little dorky. Like myself. Oh my god, my throat is. I started running out of things to make. I guess. Words! Let's go! Okay. Now, many of you may have noticed, or may not have noticed, depending on your visual appeal of this game, you may have noticed that uh, there are some things around the island that are kind of here. Like ducks, and, and, and a pot, and another stupid junk. Oh, I hit. <laughs> wow, that was, that was something. That was definitely something. There you go, my newness. That there are some weird stuff around here. That is a mission we have to do. Which we're not going to do it in a minute. So. Now, this little turd bucket is not hard to get, so. All he does is run around one circle. It's not that hard. Oh, I thought that. Uh, oops. I thought that pausing it would actually help. Like before, remember back in the time when you get something and it just helps. I find it funny if you just go talk to this guy. You just uh, talk to this guy. He instantly just gives you. Wait, what? Oh yeah. I think I have some explaining to do. Um, you see, I don't know if this is self-explanatory yet or not. Depending on many of you, you may not understand. Winter Tundra is the last of the worlds, meaning that there are no talismans to get to continue on to another world. It's technically the last world that is even registered as a world, I guess. Since it's being the last one, this was down there. Okay, I gotta keep down there. Would have been useless if there was nothing down there. There was. Um, since it's being the last of the world. You don't get talismans, you get orbs. So, uh, I don't know. I don't know why they couldn't just do that in the first place. I don't know what the talismans would even be. Just wait till three. And then you're gonna think. Then you're gonna see. <laughs> no. Every, everything that's bad about this game is in that game. Everything that's good about Spire 1 is in this game. You know, gameplay is core, solid. Fun, entertaining. Levels are pretty decent. The music's pretty good. Levels are okay. I mean, they're all right, but it, the game's bland. It just Spyro 2 could be so much more better. It it really could, I think. 
I, I personally think it could be better than what it is now. And it's what it is, and Spyro 3 does not exist. And Spyro Year the Dragon is just a pain of a game to think about playing. Since this is my year of the trilogies, guess who's got the play? Well, I may or may not play this year. I don't know. We'll find out. Really. More than likely, I'm gonna have, I'm gonna run out of things to play. So there you go. It's gonna be like 2053 by the time I run out of games to play. And then it's like, oh, guess what? There's only a, there's one more series we have not played yet, Alex. What would that be? The Call of Duty franchise. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Play some battle. Ew. Wait, Alex, that makes no sense. I remember you used to. You, wasn't there a battlefield video on your channel? Wait, I was called Duty Biz on my channel too. It doesn't mean I didn't like it anymore. I actually liked Battlefield 3. I really did. I thought it was pretty good. But the whole fact of that stupid $50 DLC uh -huh. map pack or something like that, for like, what, two maps probably? That's just ridiculous. That's when EA started really getting into. The, the problem of... God, I don't know. I don't know. I, I didn't know what they were doing back then. And they've been doing it for so long, I never really paid attention. I don't know why I bought more of the games, but... <sighs> oh, well. I only own a few. I, I had Dead Space. I don't play that game anymore. I can't let's play that game thanks to EA. Their copyright. I have Dungeons & Dragons still. Uh, there's other reasons besides it. If I... I pre-ordered that with Bioshock 2. Um... Time ago. That's an alright game. It's alright. It's, it's made by Visceral, and so was Dead Space, so obviously they were pretty good games. I had Bullet Storm, which was made by Epic Games, to be able to fly, but there's one thing I gotta say about Epic Games. I'm gonna put the straight front point and full consideration as much as I can. The. What is he to them? I don't know. His name was Cliff Bolinski, or something like that. Uh, he was like one of the designer lead people or something. I don't want to say he's a designer or not. He was one of the lead people of, uh, yeah, Epic Games, my bad. And, you know, with Twitter and stuff like that, especially with Hideo Kojima, it's like, just stop posting stupid stuff on Twitter. It makes me so mad. Kojima, or who was it? I think it was Hideo Kojima. He kept posting crap like, Look at what I'm eating. It's like food and stuff. I'm like, God, shit. Get that off of here. I hate when people post food on Twitter. That's why I unfollowed his ass as soon as I saw the first one. I'm out. Cliff never shut the hell up. And he's one of those designers who just ne never shuts the hell up. He's like me. I'm kind of like him if I was a game designer myself. If I made games and I went to interviews and stuff, I'd probably be the same way he is. Just never shut the hell up and talk about my games. We want to talk about him. <laughs> you know, he had a lot of faith in Bulletstorm. I think he did. It seemed like he might have. And it was definitely a good game. I think it was cool. Um, I would do Let's Play That again. EA, copyright, stuff like that. Uh, not to mention, it's kind of a, a game that is only worth... The single player value is really high. You you get a lot of single player experience from it. That's for sure, but the one thing that's not really good is multiplayer and I never judge a game based on its multiplayer, obviously, but multiplayer takes up so much of the game that sometimes it deteriorates the single player. But sometimes the single player takes up most of the the game, then the multiplayer usually takes the you know, the fall from that too. And there are maybe a few games that I could say actually have proven to be even worth both, I guess. Like Uncharted 3, for example. I think that's definitely a very definitive game amongst the fact of having both a good multiplayer and a single player game. What the hell am I doing? I'm supposed to be doing... Finding that damn... Um, First, probably more likely is in that pot, wasn't it? Yeah, this was one of those order of sequence kind of deal. It was just, just jacking around, it seems like. A little bit. 
I'm so sorry. But yeah, I have a different depiction of games and stuff like that. And I, I sold those. Oh, I pulled a man. Dead Space. Mainly because I have 100% Dead Space. I've run it so I've run through it so many times. It's not scary. It's nothing mean. Anymore. It's a fun game. It really is. Replay value is pretty low. Unless you know you're just feeling like ah, oh, screw it, Dead Space. That's the only reason I ever played Dead Space. Most because it's like ah, oh, it's Dead Space. Who cares? Then Dead Space 2 came out. I didn't get that first thing either. So. Oh wait a minute. He gives us the first item and then we go but it, it yeah. Yeah. Egg. Okay. Anyway, I don't like it. <laughs> um yeah. Whew. Dead Space is alright for a series. Dead Space 3 I have not played yet. Don't even feel like doing it. It's got co-op, yeah, but god. Again, microtransactions, it's everywhere. You gotta buy this, buy this, just get an upgrade. It's like, come on, why can't it just be in the game already? Freaking giggle. And there I go again with that one. Yeah, but Dead Space 1 was alright. Dead Space 2 was really good. Like, it was surprisingly good. It actually was pretty freaky at times, I have to admit. If I do say it once myself, it has moments where it kind of spooked me out. Or, or it made me jump, I mean. Nothing really like, oh my god, this is so scary. Oh, if you guys want to hear a story, I'll tell you something fun. A long time ago, my uncle put fear on my... on the PC desktop, out my living room. And when I first played it, I seen it all the time. I thought it was cool. I thought it looked interesting, but fun. There were moments where it kind of, I jumped, you know, because it's a scary game. So I figured, you know, jump. Yes, that's the atmosphere of the game. Jump, jump, jump. Okay. Now, with that being said, there was a moment where Alma, the little girl, that the little ghost girl that basically follows you around, as you, you know, follows Point Man around, all that stuff. That's his name, folks. If you've not played the first one, or even seen the third one, or even heard of the second one, go play them. They're pretty good. Even the three chapters of the first one, that's... Although I didn't get to play much to the second chapter or the third chapter, that is because they broke my career. My career sucks. Anyway, moving on. There's a scene where she's in a crawl space, or some event. Like, you're going to an event, and I heard these pipes break, and I'm like, oh god, what's going on? And you can pass it. You don't have to actually see it. You don't need to see it. She came crawling towards me. I jumped back, paused the game, and quit for three weeks. I said, I'm done. Get me away from this game for the rest of my life. Then I finally got into it, started playing it, turned on God mode because I'm a loser and, you know, went through the game that way. God mode on hard mode. <laughs> when it comes to shooter games, hard mode's just retarded. I, Bulletstorm, I think I did, actually go through legitly. Obviously, because it's not a, a Bioshock I can do, but a Bioshock's an RPG shooter. Yeah, yeah. I'm trying to think of getting it mixed up here. It's, it's a shooter, definitely, but it has RPG aspects of it, or something as well. Yeah. But let's go ahead and get rid of this stupid pencil already. Thanks the Lord have mercy, my god. It took forever. Whew, I told you guys, this episode is going to be long ass episodes. And they're not fun either. They're not um, They're not engaging or fun. They're boring. They're very boring. Whew. That was quite... Yeah, I don't like these 20 minute episodes. I really don't. These just need to stop forever. But anyway, guys, I hope you all enjoyed, and I will see you next time we take on what's left of whatever is left of, I guess, so. Uh, yeah, I'm basically waiting for something to kind of end off here, but I don't think it's going to do that, so. Anyway, guys, see you all later. Take care, everybody.